Evening folks, uh, how's everyone doing? Um, I have had absolutely terrible hay fever today, so but we'll we'll try and persist, we'll try and get a video um, out of the way. Today we're going to sync up the Micro Freak to, uh, well in, in this case, uh, a Volca drum. So I guess this will be the sync video, but like the Volca flavoured one. So obviously sync, sync in and out, um, it's like it's, it's got its own little specification that's kind of different from MIDI and kind of different from control voltage and gate. It's kind of, I mean, it's, it's voltage based, sure, or pulse based, but um, different machines, different brands have their own specification of implementing clock. Um, from what I can understand from my reading, Korg prefer the two pulse per quarter specification. Teenage Engineering, I think we'll have a different one, but we'll look at that in a different video. Um, and some of the older, like Lindrum, I think that's like 24 pulse per quarter. And there's other ones that have, I think it's 48 pulse per quarter. Maybe that's the old Lindrum. And then there's 24 pulse per quarter. But anyway, Korg, as my understanding is, we're in two pulse per quarter territory. Um, so if you want to use the so in, well in this setup we'll use the Volker drum as our brain to control the tempo so that means because you know the Volker drum has a nice like tempo switch and a nice sort of readout telling me exactly what the tempo is it can do half 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 measures as well so i can set the tempo to 78.5 um, bpm um 79 78 78.5 yeah um on the micro freak uh, at the back, there's clock in, clock out. So because we're using the Volker drum as our brain, we're gonna we're gonna do clock in. Um, so this is the Noir edition. Sorry, the Stellar edition, um, which is has a kind of Noir look. Um, on my unit, these switches are really really tight. Um, I don't know whether that's a, that's that, that's an issue. I don't know whether anyone else has, has found that. Um, it everything seems to work, um, but just FYI. Um, okay, we don't need to do anything to the Volker drum other than obviously a three point five mil cable coming out of sync out. And then if you want to hear it, obviously use I'm using the headphone socket, this brown cable here. It's going into the split mix, which goes into the mixer. Couple of things to set up. Um, so we want to say what is the clock source um, and what format is that clock source? Okay, so utility and we want utility. sync press in um, first of all we'll set the source options are internal yeah that makes sense usb yeah that makes sense there's obviously usb control there um, midi again that makes sense there's midi control um, oh and then there's clock And this is already this is fired off because I've changed this to clock and it's detecting that I've got a cable in. I've also got sync setting auto. I'm not sure what auto does. But there we go. So MIDI, obviously not sending any MIDI. Clock. So then the next thing to set up is we want sync. Um, we want to set the clock and this is where we set it. So it's currently set to one step, which I don't want. Um, two PPQ. That's what I want because I'm in Korg Volker world. Um, my other option is 24 PPQ um, pulse per quarter that's insane right that's 24 pulses per quarter note um, and there's 48 pulse per quarter 
So one of them is the old Lindrum uh, specification, I believe. Um, yeah, so those, those are my options. So we're going to leave it set at 2PPQ. Awesome. Okay. Now, we can set the Volca drum going. And it's all nicely synced. Happy days. If I change the tempo down here on the Volca drum, there we go. Easy peasy. Now, What I've not been able to work out is how do I start the arpeggio going when I press play on here. I mean, that's one way of doing it. However, stop. However, what I'm finding is different and sort of sequence um, presets are set up in a slightly different way and I've not fully explored like the the ARP settings uh, on the micro freak but that's essentially how to set up um, uh, a sort of a Volca well I'm using drum but it would probably work for beats and sample and well yeah any of the Volcas that send um, sync out Volca modular um, and obviously with the Volca range, we can daisy chain. So I could set, you know, so I could have my sync out go into the Volca modular and then the sync out of the Volca modular going back to the um, micro freak. I, and now the freak does have a clock out. I don't know whether that would also support daisy chaining. So I could then take a subsequent out of there and go into another machine. Um, I might try that. I might try that. That might be a different video though. Narrator mark here. Um, I'm just gonna run some Volca drum patches um, and some Micro Freak patches together as a demo. Um, and what we learned from this is the Volca drum sounds really, 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 really good.
<laughs> it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. So super simple setup. Um, nothing more to say, really. Um, we can try some experiments with daisy train check daisy chaining, but let's, let's do that in another video. So what we've done is just basically today we've clocked the micro freak to a Volker modular. This setup should work for any of the Volker range. Um, yeah. Um, can you hear that? The micro freak, it is a bit noisy. Yeah, I think that's just, um, an AC hum because even with the, even with the uh, the master down you can hear it humming away mmm 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 might need to think about that um, all right that's the end of the video um, any questions well I'll do my best um, but as I say I'm still digging in to some of the arpeggio features of the freak all right that's it ta-da folks ta-da 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 ta-da